Hey there friends and enemies, Jopi here again and today we got official confirmation that the PC port of Final Fantasy 16 arrives on September 17th, 2024 and not only that, but a free demo is available today to check out as well and I highly recommend you do so because this is one of my favorite games from last year and if I'm being honest, one of the more memorable games I've played in recent history. It has absolutely stuck with me long after beating the game and I think this is something that is often overlooked with video games as it's easy to have a technically good game but it doesn't hit the emotional heartstrings that Final Fantasy 16 does. So today I want to talk about some of the flaws of the game but also try to sell you on why even with those flaws this game is absolutely worth it. Now first off it is available for $50 on September 17th for PC with the DLCs being an additional charge or you get the complete edition for I believe $70 if you want the base game and the DLC. Now I think the DLC are absolutely worth it but I would start by getting the demo to try out then maybe checking out the full game if you enjoy it and if you love it like I did get the DLC but if you're really enjoying it I would highly re recommend getting the DLC before you finish the final boss because you can tackle that before finishing and it really allows some interesting changes to gameplay so overall let's talk about some of the positives and negatives now first off one of the big criticisms was the gameplay and I fully understand that the game is not overly difficult difficult especially your first time playing through it and the gameplay is a lot different from other traditional Final Fantasy games it is heavily action oriented it's more of an action RPG than any kind of turn-based game that we've gotten in the past I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing but I understand why that might put some people off however I do think some of the talk of the inability to use some of the different combinations is overblown, especially when it comes to boss fights, because there are a lot of iconic abilities that you're able to accrue over the course of the game, and when you get to a boss fight, they absolutely come in handy, and you can chain them together for interesting gameplay elements, and I do feel like it does work really, really well. Now, once you get to the end game and you do some of the challenges at a harder difficulty or you go to new game plus you might see it shine just a bit better as well but not everyone's gonna want to do that going forward though i think the other big criticism was the pacing of the game combined with the almost semi-open world elements not really feeling as put together as one want, not feeling as alive as you might have expected, and some of the criticism of the side quests that we get as well. As far as the side quests though, I do feel like that criticism is overblown. You get a lot of unique items that are very useful from the side quests, and if you like the story, if you're emotionally invested, the side quests provide a lot of detail you otherwise might have missed. So I feel like they do an interesting balance of side quests that are important to the story, or they provide important gameplay elements, and pretty much all the side quests have one or two of those to really sink into and i think that's something that when people are looking at side quests maybe they aren't as fun gameplay wise but they do provide a very interesting addition to the storyline but i think that just combines with the fact that the little open world areas that you get just don't feel alive enough and exciting enough to explore that's one of the major downsides for me of the game personally however if you treat it more as a linear game and you go from main quest to side quest and you're not really exploring as much, that's really where you're going to get the most out of the game, in my opinion. So I do understand that, but I also feel like uh, a lot of the pacing issues are also solved by jumping from quest to quest instead of spending a ton of time exploring when that's not the main part of the game or the place the game shines. Now... The things that I remember from this game and why it stuck with me so much. The characters are tremendous. We have Sid, we have uh, Ben Starr's performance as Clive is phenomenal. We have uh, 
a bunch of other really good characters and just a really fascinating storyline that you can kind of see where it's going at times and then you're hit with some changes in the trajectory that really stick with you some of the characters feel so evil that you want to hate them but then you learn their side of the story and maybe not as much of that hatred as you might have previously expected so i do find that to be incredibly fascinating the way they put that all together the characters and the story are my favorite parts of the game outside of the icon battles and honestly they kind of go hand in hand anyway if you didn't know the icon battles of the game are these massive kaiju battles where you are one monster e free and then you're fighting another one so these are absolutely tremendous visually but they're also a lot of fun gameplay wise and they all feel very very different which i really enjoy you get more of them with the dlc as well and you unlock more abilities by playing the dlc so highly recommend that you do that if you're going to beat the game anyway but the icon battles are just these massive set pieces where you're fighting maybe you're in low space or you're just giant fighting a giant monster that's just unbelievably big and these just are are extremely memorable boss fights oftentimes you can have games that have a bunch of different boss fights but you really don't think about all of them some of them will be hit or miss well all of these i think are absolutely tremendous and it is very telling that amongst the fans of the game there is a divided opinion on which one is the best so i do find that to be a very very cool thing like i said the characters are good the storyline overall is uh, emotional and heart-wrenching at times and ultimately i think that's really where the game shines is that it's just a very unique backdrop that you want to dive into and learn more about but the more you learn the harder it is to pull yourself away from and i just personally really enjoy the way they do their storytelling but also the way they deliver upon some of that with these emotional moments that again you'll see some of these clips on twitter or social media and they're just absolutely epic and driven home when you are deep into the game when you're really invested in the stories the characters and the world as a whole so i think that's something that cannot be overlooked and something that people oftentimes kind of don't really pay enough attention to in my personal opinion because just think about the games you've played recently how many you've played and how many moments from those games that stick clearly in your mind that is where final fantasy 16 is different for me personally because i can name a dozen of them i can there's so many that i immediately think of that were absolutely unbelievable the cutscenes are tremendous the icon battles are fantastic the characters are just some of my favorite in any final fantasy game and i feel like if you think this isn't a final fantasy game because the combat is a bit different then I think you're missing the heartbeat of the franchise, and that's just my personal opinion. I feel like this is absolutely a Final Fantasy game. It gets a little cheesy at times with, with the, some things that you'll discover if you play the game, but ultimately, highly recommend at least checking it out with the demo. Maybe watch a video or two to see if the game is for you, and yeah, I hope you guys get to enjoy it as much as I did. I absolutely love the game. I highly recommend it to anybody. But if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. Helps me out tremendously. Shows you want to see more Final Fantasy 16 combat or content from me going forward. I might do some videos, go back to the game, check it back out after being away for a while. If you want to see anything like that. But either way, my name is Jopa. Have a good one. I'll catch you all later.